Hello everyone, welcome to Video Junkie 91 Plays Don't Starve. We're gonna get into our first game. It's gonna be Don't Starve. Actually, let's do Rain of Giants. We don't have Shipwreck. Uh, we're just gonna do Wilson because that's all we have besides mod characters. And you can have fun with that. You can have fun with those. But first episode, got gotta be Wilson. So while this is loading, I'm gonna talk about my experience. So basically, I got this game when it was free on PlayStation Plus, and I've enjoyed it ever since, and that led to me getting it on Steam, uh, where it was on sale, of course, because I'm a cheapskate. But, um, that was years ago. Might have been like when I first got PlayStation Plus. I kind of think of the months in terms of those games, which is kind of weird, but. What I'm saying is I've had a long time to play it, but I haven't played it so recently, so there's this small, like, there is ancient knowledge that has been forgotten that may lie dormant until it falls upon. But, I mean, I have a general vague idea that by day 7 you need to be ready for the hounds, and by day 20 you need to be ready, you need to be preparing for winter. Because, if you don't know anything about this game, hounds will kill you, winter will kill you, hunger will kill you, beasts will kill basically everything will try to kill you. And you always start off with three flowers and don't pick them. What you do is start gathering resources. You're going to need a lot of twigs and a lot of straw. You can use the mouse. Or the space bar, like I did just there. You want to take inventory of what you got going on around you. And if you look at the top, you got a HUD, which is a clock, day one. Hunger, sanity, and health. All those are very important. You can see some bunnies. You might have noticed we crossed over that dark looking spot up the road. We went a little faster. We used up all our resources to make a trap. We're gonna lay that right over the bunny hole. You can see he ran from us. That will not be a problem. He will run from us again, eventually running into that trap. It's the meta. You can see the ground indicates different, uh, different biomes, kind of. There's no flower. So the point of this game is to survive, and we're going to do that probably rather poorly. We've been, we, I have played this off and on. Recently got back into it for computer. As you can see with the modded characters, it's always fun to mess around with. I will probably be doing some of those. But once you get yourself a good number of resources, you want to start looking around at your map and see where you are in those terms. So we're actually going to head up there, look like we had a better chance. You can examine everything, all the characters, whenever they talk, it's uh... An instrument, a woodwind instrument, I believe, specifically. Another quirk, all the characters' names start with W. We are, of course, Wilson. So what we're doing now, we're going to try and get some resources. That bird dropped some seeds. Including food. Sorry about that. But what we really need is some flint, which we see up there. Perfect timing. Oh, look at this great chain. We're just going to hold this space bar and see what happens. It's going to be, there you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, combo ended. Okay, well, I didn't mean to do that, but that'll help. It's part of the combo. Combo, combo, combo. Combo ended. Very, very important. One 
plan for, for how to make an axe, but we'll need to build campfires. Because we need wood. And you know how I said I've been trying to kill you? If you chop too many trees, the trees will turn into a giant tree guard and that will try to kill you. So try to keep it down to two a day and don't forget to replenish Mother Earth, otherwise Mother Earth will slap you down and you will die a cruel death. We cannot cross water. This is a hard barrier. There is a shipwreck expansion which is allows you to create boats and that sort of stuff. Let me take a look at that map. So, as I said, I have a very loose understanding of the game, especially in the latter days, because I literally made it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We're gonna have some more food here. We get that rabbit, and we put this trap back down. And you don't kill the rabbit, because, as you can already see, everything goes bad over time. So it will rot, so if you let it die slowly, then it will turn into uncooked meat with a fresh freshness bar. So the meta is to let the rabbit die a slow pain to death of starvation, which is cruel, but Wilson's gotta eat. We got another piece of plant. So we don't want to start on a campfire just yet. End of the first day, you want to be looking for... Maybe starting to think about where you want to put on your campfire. And how far... So basically, when it's nighttime, you gotta... Okay, well, hold on, hold on. These evil flowers are going to lower our sanity. There's a ring thing that allows us to do something later on. Maybe we'll get to it. But once night hits, you will die in the dark. Remember how I thought I was going to try to kill you? That includes just nighttime in general. So, we're going to do the pro strat of building something with your resource and then right click away. So, I'm not going to build it just yet. But I can't actually use up all these resources. And it's gonna have to be soon. It's probably gonna be right in this area. Because we've got some berry bushes next to us. Alright, we gotta think about it. Let's go. Okay, that turkey is gonna eat all our berry bushes if we let him. Build that. That was just in the nick of time. That's how we want to be operating. This is a very, uh, what would we call it? We got a lot of these. We gotta keep our fire up. Once they hit, we're gonna chop that tree down. Not a second sooner. We're gonna take some time and cook some of these berries. As you can see, our hunger went down. We pick up all these carrots. That went up a little bit because it's just roasted seeds. Carrots are better. Berries will be really good as well, but we're going to be waiting. So now I gotta think of something to talk about until the sixth day, but luckily we're almost there. We'll be seeing some more aspects of time. Um, we can spend our time creating a pickaxe. Do we want another axe? Maybe. We're gonna build a torch. Have that for emergencies. And we can also use them to burn stuff down. We'll get into that later. And we'll build a straw hat. Look the sun out, that'll make look like real farmers. Okay, I'm gonna hit us with the load. Right? There we go, or I saved. 
game auto save so you can live with the consequences and we chop down our tree quota for the day one out of two very important never forget plant 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 we want to we have a lot of this a lot of stuff in general Restock Mother Nature. Get those. Get that. Get that. And one thing about having some. Okay, well, plans change because it rains. We gotta look for flowers now. We're gonna continue stocking up. We need a way to stop the rain, but actually our hat's doing a good job. It's wide brimmed. Country boy can't survive. Um Okay, you can see trees growing. This is better than Fable will confirm. Peter Molyneux did not make this game, but that tree did grow. There's a butterfly, flying around some flowers, as butterflies do. You'll see a skeleton up there. I'm not ignoring it. I will make my way to it. No, 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 don't chop. You don't want to use up your chopping quota on things that will provide less wood. Because it's an important resource. Alright, before we forget, let's go up. We found a skeleton. But we really want flowers. There's bees and a beehive. Okay, what we're going to do, go to survival, make a pretty parasol. And we know it's pretty because it's made out of flowers. You can see this is going up. It's at four. Yeah, all right. We got sleep dart. Only one. We want to hang on to that. We want to remember who that skeleton is. And we want to look at this ground because it's dark gray, which means we're going to see a lot of these types of rocks. Which is good for us. We can start progressing because we need something to rock to make something we need. So we're going to spend this day mining and now we want to start thinking about where to put a permanent camp. If you saw on the, uh, the tab that I used to make the campfire, the light tab, we have a campfire, campfire, but we can also make a fire pit. We just need a few more rocks, and those are permanent. We can, um, in the same way that we added fuel to our campfire, we can add fuel to the fire pit, but that it'll stay on the ground even when it goes out. The fire pit went out. Okay, you can see some spiders. Okay, um... Stunlock him. We don't want the monster meat just yet. 36. We don't want to lose this when we make another axe. Okay. Stunlock, that's a monster gland that's really important. This is an ancient Japanese tactic of kiting. We took damage. Alright, we gotta run. Run. Don't put up the silk. 
So unlock him. As you can see, our health is very low. Health and hunger will go up, but we really just did that to make it free up in space. We can heal with this, which is what we're gonna do. Things are looking kind of desperate. Pick up our other axe. Okay. So we made a lot of them angry, so we're just going to give up on this idea. Okay, and we've wasted a lot of time and pressed the wrong key. So, that's going to take more stu stuff to get through. We want to think about a central area to all these resources, maybe somewhere up here or in this area. Okay, we are still alive. More rocks. Spider Central. Get away from these spiders. More rocky area. We like to be near a beehive. Excuse me. That was dangerous, but we survived. Okay. Don't eat my rocks. He will eat your rocks, just so you know. Alright, we gotta cook all these. We need sustenance. So, that was an eventful day. We picked a carrot, it's on, it's on the ground. We don't need this nighter right now. That will come in handy later. Cook it up, we can keep longer. We have these pits. We have, we have the rock to make a fire pit. We have gold. We use that to make a science machine. This is what our rat will turn into once he's dead. So we're just gonna wait for him. Actually, you know what? Let's murder him. We have two morsels so we can hang on to this. Let's get one of our trees on the tree quota per day. You can pick up the wood, we can't pick any more of these, except to hold them in this special stance, so we're going to plant them, and we need to explore. You see berries, flowers, lots of trees. Okay, well. Take inventory, we can pick up. Flint, twigs, grass, normal, we can't pick up pet carrots because we don't have room for raw carrots, only cooked carrots. This might be where we put our base, which we want to start thinking about because we need a science machine, an alchemy engine to start progressing through the game. Oh, here's another good reason. A wormhole is here. We're gonna check this out. It's going to lower our sanity from 177 to, I believe, 150 something, 152, 162 maybe. You can see it was not a sane thing to do. We're in a very different part of the game, or the game world. Right to Beekeeper Hat, Net. Alright, so real quick, put these on the ground, pick up a blueprint. Learn. Now we know how to build a bee box for free. 
I believe B box. Yep. So we can do that if we want. Let's see. We're gonna have to leave some stuff here. That did cost us sanity, so let's do some exploring. But we're gonna come back here because we want that bee stuff, especially because there's a beehive nearby. And bees are how you excel at the game. Um, swamp. Swamp the dangerous. You will soon see why, but we're gonna venture off this path and get a chester. Excuse me. Open chester. We can put stuff in him. This guy is a living chest. You can build chests like normal, but you don't got to. So, we're actually gonna go back to the pond. It's not even getting dark yet, so we're gonna take our chances. Go back to Skeleton Man. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Fill him up. Alright. We just have our own food though still. We don't want to drop everything. So we pick up a bee mine, a bee mine, beekeeper's hat, bee sting, bee sting, bee sting, and net. Alright. Now we are going on another adventure to find our, to set up, or to get back to this area, which is looking like we just have to head down. We got very lucky to find Chester, or the Chesterton, open Chester, yeah. He just pops along behind us, making a very fun noise. Um, so in all that excitement, I've forgotten our tree quota, so I'm not sure we can chop down at the tree. So we're going to play it safe, we got a lot, it's all in Chester right now, but don't worry. He will follow us as long as we keep his eye bone. This is a strange shaped biome. Well, lucky for us, we didn't have to discover why Swamp is such a bad place. Let's go this way, we just want to get back home. Alright, chop this down. It's getting late, I know. We have a free plant on our, excuse me. Get a free plant. Get a free plant. Plant a carrot. This is a, yep, this is the original biome. We can do a bit more exploring to finalize where we want our camp to be. This is going to be our central base camp. So, this is actually looking pretty central, but I think we're going to follow this road and go back towards the wormhole. If we have a way to mitigate our Sanity loss, that will be good, and we can use the warp gate, or the one hole as a form of fast travel. Okay, well, we made a mistake. Drop. We are gonna set up here. Alright, so, start building. We can't start building. Gold, rock, be mine. All right. Whoopsie doodle. Sorry, Chester. So first things, light. It's almost nighttime. Fire pit. Build a fire pit here. Science machine. Oh, okay, we used up all the rocks because we're dumb. By all the rocks, I mean some of the rocks. So we're not doing that.
Alright. We've gotten hungry. Eat some of the berries. Two left. We only have three stone. So, what else can we do? Hammers are really good. I forgot you don't need science to build that. Although, that is all our stone, so we're gonna have to go find more. But, we will have a use for this, I promise. Can we build a spear yet? Use a science machine. So basically how building works is you gotta build this, you gotta prototype stuff at a science machine first, before you can uh, build it. But if you find a blueprint like we did, then you can build it without being at the science machine or the alchemy engine. As you can see here, we just need boards, some honeycomb, and four bees. And we're gonna want that. Alright, wrong again. Excuse me. Open Chester. Beekeeper hat. I think that protects us from bees, but I'm not sure. So I wouldn't. Uh, I'm not gonna take any chances yet. Let's do some Chester organizing while I've got a chance. Stop it. Okay, cook these up. Want the hammer. Alright. We gotta go get a rock. We gotta go get some rocks. So. We're gonna need another pickaxe. Saving causes trouble. We saw. We saw some rocks somewhere. Okay, don't walk right into those. You can see our sanity took a big hit. After this, we'll want a shovel. Alright, so. There we go. You just automatically get it. We'll probably put nitrous somewhere. Who knows? We will hold on to it for now. We don't like those lumpy trees because they don't they hard they don't uh, drop pine cones. Plant that. We're gonna plant some more trees. We can catch butterflies with our net. We don't have room for that yet, right now. We're gonna make them room by eating these berries that were starting to turn. Check our map. There is more bee stuff here. We're gonna head towards Spider Central. We want more rock. Stone is the official name for the resource. We can build up our stock. All right, more flint, that's free money. You can see some uh, ice there. Eat that real quick. We got seeds in Chester. We could have gone there, but ah, uh, whatever. Alright, make. Another pickaxe, use up some of our resources, and I think we can think about heading home. But why not pick up some more gold? We're gonna use this up. We have made it, we haven't built it yet. We're gonna put it at our, we wanna put it at our camp so we can be near it, but we don't wanna use up the resources. So here we go. We need the science machine to refine resources. We'll be getting to that shortly. Gather everything. 
eat. They might attack us. They didn't see it coming. We are the mandarin. Spider web is useful. I don't see any more spider web on the ground. All right. We are headed back to our base camp. We got, hold on, time to show off this. Uh, do we have room in Chester? We, we do. All right. There we go. Those will come in handy, I promise. I'm getting hungry and we want to get some flowers. So we can pick all this up. Picking flowers heals to sanity and we don't have the use for it. It's getting dark. Mom's calling us. No mothers in this game actually. Maybe the spiders. Six, seven, eight. I don't think we're gonna make it to 12, but that's all right. Of course it's raining. All right, okay, um. We have lost. We okay. We got a lot of stuff to do. We just have to deal with the rain. Um, I have a science machine. I'd like to make it. We're slowly healing up. We can make stuff now. Let's see what we can make. We gotta do some refining. We're gonna have to hold on to some stuff. And we're going to want to think about making an electrical doodad. We need two stone. So, go do it fine. Cut stone. One, two. Um, we're kind of holding it in the ether right now. We need more cuts down. Yeah. We weathered the storm. We need to eat this meat. That's going to do us some healing. It's so dark. Don't go out, please. Um, I think we accidentally made more stone than we need. My bad. We had two electrical doodads. Whoa, ho, ho. okay, um, what we accidentally did was whack that. We don't want to do that. No whacking. Not yet. We need an alchemy engine. We need one more cut stone, and... Four boards. That's going to require a lot of wood if you've been doing your math. Fine. We're just going to practice. Get good at it. Alright. We're going to find some more of that. Combined stack of two, flint, it's almost daytime, and it's starting to get late, so when the day breaks, we're gonna call it a day, folks. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button, that would help me out a great deal. If you have any criticism, just go down below where appropriate. Wilson's beard is coming in. If you want to see more of these videos, then subscribe to my channel to be made aware. But most importantly, you need to help me out. I'd really appreciate it if you share this video with your friends and your family and anyone else you think would be interested in watching this type of content. 
That'll be it for today, folks. Goodbye.